Hello and welcome to StadiaCraft. This is our first ever video on the channel and I always find that they define you. If it becomes a successful channel, then people always look back at your very first video. I only know that because I got another channel called Real Ale Craft Beer and that started in January of 2010, 10 years ago. Not only do I look an awful lot older now, but I'm a little bit more used to producing content for YouTube. And yeah, first video, it defines you. It defines the channel. It defines you as a person. So this is Stadia Craft. Uh, our brand new Google Stadia has arrived. I'm going to show you how quickly this is to plug in, set up. I'm going to show you our bandwidth speed on the internet to see how much we got to... I think we got about 300 meg, it's pretty good. So I'll show you that um, and then we'll get going. We'll, we'll get gaming on the channel. Like, subscribe if you like it. Let's get on with unboxing. Okay, so here is our box. The old knife into it. I've been really excited about this product. Been watching a few channels on YouTube. One being called Stadia Cast, which they were the ones who really convinced me to buy this. So big shout out to Bill at Stadia Cast for convincing me to take a dive, take a dive into this product. One place for all the ways to play, or we play. You'll have to Excuse my unboxing skills. I'm I'm more used to well as we run a beer channel. I'm more used to opening a beer than opening tech. So we'll get there, I suppose, with that. Lovely. So there's the controller. Nice. Nice and clicky and lovely. Quite comfortable to hold. We have one in the UK. This channel is based in the UK, so you're about to see a. If I can get it out. Let me know. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, yeah, there we go, rip and tear. Ooh, no. <laughs> right, there's the plug. USB connection to there, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, this is the, oh, we have another plug. Oh, we have two plugs. Maybe that's to charge, that's to charge the Stadia controller. This is to plug in. Oh, there's an Ethernet. Look at that. I was wondering because I was on the, well, I set up my Google Stadia just yesterday. I did it on my Mac. And they said for the best results with a Chromecast, plug it into an Ethernet. And I was thinking, how on earth do you do that? But look. Very, very clever. Well done, Google. And this is the specially made... All techies like this noise, don't they? I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to that noise. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a, a Google Stadia made Chromecast Ultra. And that's it. That's the box. So the next thing we're going to do now is plug the Chromecast Ultra into the telly and get it set up. Right, I've chosen on the back of my telly, can you see, HDMI 1. So that goes in there, just like that. Let the dongle hang behind, which is the beauty of this, this whole console setup is that everything sits behind your telly and then you grab the plug plug that bit in 
But before I plug it in, I just had a thought. There's my puck Chromecast. It's lit up. I've plugged it into the bottom of the Chromecast Ultra. And my telly, lucky enough, has... A lot of new tellys does these days, has a USB port. So I'm wondering if there's enough power so I can just tuck that away behind the telly so you don't see anything. You don't see... And nothing has to be plugged in. I'm wondering if... Oh, look! It looks like there's enough power from the telly to power the Chromecast on its own. Next up, I want to show you our speeds, our internet speeds. So the speed test is by Ookla speedtest.net let's go look at the handprints all over my mac isn't that disgusting right we have i thought we had 300 we have about 100 meg of internet it's been up and down isn't it so 87 download and consistently 36 37 up so the initial setup process took about 10 minutes i had to link the controller i had to update the chromecast then update the controller again we're up and running 10 minutes but i want to do one thing i promised myself i was going to do one thing i'm always out with the old in with the new here goes my finger look at that You might see an Xbox One S. And I promised myself, I live in a small terraced house here. And space is a premium in an old terraced house. I don't think anybody's really mentioned this with Stadia yet, but I have shelving in my fireplace where my Xbox is. And I just don't want it all. I really don't want it all. All I want is a telly on the wall with a little Chromecast puck in the back. Now, I also, out of nostalgia purposes and whatnot, have a Wii, uh, an old, I nearly said Wii U then, an old Wii. Now, I still use that for Wii Sports. Um, the, the bowling, pretty good. The golf is pretty good. It's nice to grab a couple of beers and have a bit of fun on a Saturday night, but it doesn't have to be plugged in all the time anymore. We can set it up somewhere else. So without further ado, let's go back around to the other camera. I, I think it's really important to show people the lack of lag on Google Stadia. Let's launch this game then. Straight away. always heartbreaking really when you when you are a youtuber um, you have all sorts of software problems all sorts of technical problems that go on nothing's as easy as it all seems but there's a brand new app that's been launched today on the app store that lets you record picture in picture from your phone i promise to get more or, or better streaming software as we go forward but this is Generally, just an unboxing. Let's see if we can skip that. Skip that. Yeah, we're going to get some proper streaming equipment to. to I'm just picking any old, any old game just to get started. So, the next video you see, hopefully, we will work out how to do proper video game streaming where it's on the screen and I'm in the corner. Although, this isn't too bad, I suppose. Next, scare. So first impressions, um, very, very quick. The 20 minutes I had earlier, no lag. Um, but it's, inter it's, it, it, it's interesting now because I was playing earlier on at lunchtime. Now I'm playing this game. And yeah, look, you can see the inputs. That's just incredible. This is prime time now. This is where everyone gets home. Everyone starts going on the internet. And this is where you would maybe predict some problems occur with lag. But, I mean, look. Fire, 
fire. But I, I'm an old fashioned gamer. We use the word fire when you're when you're at a certain age. Right, let's concentrate concentrate on beating this woman up. That's better. Very, very responsive. Oh! I lost. Okay, we'll have a quick go at this, at this samurai shoulder because I really want to show you Destiny. So, I had 20 minutes on Destiny. This is my first time playing this game. Uh, I don't know what buttons to press. I'm just mashing everything together here. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good, you haven't hit me yet. Kick. Ah, she got me. I like that girl. Not wearing many clothes. Right, there we go. One each. So, Destiny. Really impressed with the lack of lag on Destiny. Really good. Blimey. Her feeders are nearly hanging out. So what are we going to be doing on this channel going forward? I've called it Stadia Craft. Um, I might, gosh, she's battering me. I might do a bit of food. Uh, food? Sorry, no. I might be, do a bit of gaming with with beer. Stadia Craft, as in craft beer. We're going to lose our first fight. How embarrassing. Yeah. I lose my first fight. Oh, and she look at that! What a woman! Right, exit game. Let's have a quick go at watch this Google Home button. No one. Okay, Google, open Destiny Two. Ah. The stadia, right? Okay, Google, open Destiny Two. Oh man, it worked earlier. <laughs> open Destiny Two. There we go. It's probably me. Probably pressing the wrong buttons. So I wanted to show you the game from the very start. Um, it started very much like the first Destiny. Um, connect a mic to in-game chat. Very much started like the first Destiny. So I've had a little run around, killed a few people. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna show you the, roll my sleeves up. I'm gonna show you the lack of lag. And just how quick just how quick this this system is and I'm already love I'm looking down underneath I've disconnected the Xbox there's so much less clutter all we have over here where's it? there we go is a little Chromecast a little Chromecast Ultra and and a controller which I mean it's only connected by a cable because it's charging decluttered my house. I live in a small terraced house 
and it's decluttered. I've just got to control. It's amazing the technology. Just to stream this, this. Oh, it's starting again. I couldn't have saved it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the lack of clutter is terrific. Nothing underneath in my fireplace anymore. No consoles, no Wii's, no Xboxes. It's just a controller and a TV on the wall. I'm officially living in the future with this. I'm not bothered about all of that. There's been so much kind of like crazy anti anti stadia on youtube i watch a lot of youtube videos there's so much anti stadia and quite dangerous and i don't see i don't see how that's, that's, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for me but i just want to show you the lack of lag this is the future of gaming right look turn 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 Turn. But first, I need to find you a weapon. Let's keep moving. No lag whatsoever. That might be down to my internet speeds. If you don't have the same internet speeds that I do, you may suffer a little bit with lag. But I mean, with the with five G coming in in the next few years, properly five G's out now, technically. But when it rolls out properly, I can see this service going from strength to strength. Um, the the way the way I see all of this anti kind of stadia rhetoric, the, the the reasons why I see all of this anti stadia stuff is because people have become aligned with their Xboxes and their PlayStation fours, where they've had their two free games a month. Where are we? Definitely not happy to see us. Right, we've had our two free games a month on the Xbox for the last ten years. You may have, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, maybe 80 games. I do. But do you ever play them games, them two free games a month? Do you ever play them on the Xbox or the PlayStation? Or are they just sitting on your console, doing, do, ready to download, doing nothing? That's how, that's how every, every month I download the two games, start the download, cancel the download, I'd have the games... Never play them. I'm looking forward to taking this to kind of hotel room. When I, I do a lot of traveling when I work in the beer industry, or I do work in the beer industry, uh, recording beer festivals and stuff. And when I get a bit of downtime, when I get a bit of downtime, magical. I can see this working, connecting to a hotel Wi-Fi, playing on my phone. You can play on your phone if you have a Google Pixel phone. I don't at the moment. Um, I'm hoping it'll come through to my to my iPhone. My apologies if I'm talking. This is the first time I've ever been, been a. I, I normally run a beer channel. This is the first time I've ever tried to play a game and talk at the same time. So I apologize if my. I'm not like Ninja, who's able to, to, to process all of what's going on the screen and talk at the same time. Amazing. Alien pirates picking at humanity's remains. Right, there's a bloke in the distance. Can you see him? I've got him in my sights. I've lined him up. Watch this now. Here's a trigger. Bang. Bang. No lag whatsoever oh we have uh, i mentioned it earlier is a charging the, the state is new the state is the controller's charging it doesn't even need to be connected speaking of pirates there's a loot cache let's take what's inside stubborn oak energy weapon 
The graphics as well are terrific. Absolutely fantastic. I got a shotgun as well. Let's try the shotgun. One shot, one shot, one shot. Brilliant. Absolutely no lag whatsoever. I hope you can see this. I hope you're kind of watching the lack of lag. That's all I've heard is, oh, the lag, the lag, the lag. I'm not experiencing any lag. I've experienced death now in a minute, mind. I'm not experiencing any lag whatsoever. This is like playing on my Xbox One. That I, I'm gonna sell the game, or CEX, or if I was in America, GameStop. Yeah, we'll go to die. Right. Oh, it's a boss guy. Let's throw loads of grenades at him, shall we? I'm out. Right, he's dead. Let's concentrate on this boss guy. Blooming neck. Right, he's dead. Your light is strong, Guardian. Yeah, the lag. I mean, let's 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 show you one last time. Right, here's the controller. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Okay, uh, I've been going for fifteen minutes now. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, I hope you've liked the video. Um, please comment. Please please subscribe. As I mentioned, this is my first time doing this streaming or recording a video for the new channel. It's the first time of me recording any kind of gameplay footage in my life on a game channel. I never thought I'd be doing it, but I'm so excited for this platform. I really am. Um, I'm gonna get behind it. This is the future of the gaming. On February the 1st, we got two free games again coming in, Guilt and Metro something or other, a shooter, a, a horror shooter. Um, two games go away, so it's the reason why I bought this right now is because I wanted to play Tomb Raider and I wanted to play Samurai Showdown. So by getting it at the end of January, I still claim these games, I keep the games, and then in February I get another two games. So it's very much similar to the whole Xbox, PlayStation, they give you two free games a month. But I'll say it one more time. There's no... Look, there's no console down there anymore. There's no mess. It's just a Chromecast in the side of my telly. So, uh, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.